Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. I speak the blessings of heaven over you today. In Jesus' name, something good is going to happen to you today. I want you to lift up your hands. I want you to declare that all day long. I want you to speak the word of God over your life. Psalms 34, I bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The humble should be glad uh, and and hear it. And it says, let us magnify the Lord together. So here's what I, I want you to do. I want you to just praise him today in a powerful way. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe. Go to, go to godsarmorbearer.com, get the material. And also you can see our mentoring program. And then also, if you'd like to have me in your area, or if you'd like to be a partner with us, we'd love to just have you as a partner. Now I'm talking about really, uh, the spirit of the armor bear and really what it is. And we talked, uh, we shared some things, uh, you know, just yesterday about what that spirit is. Well, as an armor bear, number one, you're coming in, you've got to maintain an attitude of peace and joy in your life. And I read Ephesians 5, uh, starting at verse 18, that we're not to be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, make, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, and again, and be thankful. So we see there, my, my praising, my singing, my being thankful creates the atmosphere because here it is. You don't want to be a burden on your pastor. You want to be a blessing. And someone asked me, said, Oh, how do I know where I'm a, a, a blessing, a burden or a blessing? I always laugh. You know, if your pastor sees you coming, uh, does he smile or run for cover? So. I mean, there, there it is. You know, you know, there's something not right about you. You're putting out the wrong atmosphere and it comes. And here is the bottom line in our life. It comes by not being a complainer. There is no, there's no perfect life. There is no perfect world. And some, t- sometimes when you look, you can say life is not fair. Uh, you know what? But you have to have the attitude as a Christian. All things work for your good. So if you're not seeing the manifestation of good, then it's not over. You, you've you got to understand that. If you don't see good, then it's not over because God's going to work these things in your life. And so we, we have to know the goodness of God and be thankful and, and praising him. And we've got to keep our attitude right. You know, your attitude, I always say this, your attitude determines the altitude you fly at. When a plane is flying, the attitude of that airplane is that bubble that shows the level that that plane is, is flying at. But if, you know, if the plane, if the pilot pulls the nose up of that airplane, the airspeed's going to slow down because of the headwind coming. If he continues to pull it up, it's going to slow and slow until finally, when he gets that straight up, guess what happens to the airplane? It goes into a stall. And that airplane has the power to fly, but it's just falling right out of the sky. And here's the problem. You got your nose up. Well, bless God, he, they didn't treat me the way I, I should have been treated. Well, bless God, I don't like what was said to me. Well, bless God, I don't care for the personality. Well, whatever you get your nose up, you're going to come down. And when you fall, I'm just telling you, uh, you're going to hit the ground. And then, and what we do is, oh God, I don't understand why you're not doing something for me. I, I, I don't understand why you don't love me. Well, the, the problem is you got your nose up. You have got to bring that attitude down. Not everything in life is going to go for your, to your favor, to your wanting or your liking. Now God is the God of favor. He will give you favor. But man, I'll tell you one thing. The Bible's really clear. Those who get, the Bible says God sets himself against the proud. 
So, I mean, any, anywhere, anytime there's pride, pride, you are shutting God's grace in your life. Oh, Pastor Terry, God's grace going to flow no matter what happens. No, the grace of God is there, but you're not, you're not tapping into it. You, you've got to activate it and you activate it through your faith and through your love walk. I mean, I walked in some very difficult situations and I had to look at my own self. And I mean, I was not happy because of of something someone did or whatever. And I had a choice. I had to stop and think. Now, I could bring them good, but all it's going to do is hurt them and it's going to hurt me. And that's nothing but pride. And so I had to bring it down and say, Father, help me. I don't want to hurt them. I want to help them. And when I came in with the right spirit, many times I've been able to help people and said, Hey, let's bring it, let's bring it all down to a notch. I love you. And let's, let's, and I'm always having an elder with me, but I said, let's, let's work this out if it's possible. And if it's not possible, at least let me bless you if you're going to leave, you know, <clears throat> and there you bring that down. You create a, a good, pure spirit of liberty in the atmosphere, then you can help someone. But if you come in there with a wrong attitude, well, no one, blah, 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 blah. You know, you're, you're bringing destruction on yourself. Don't be a complainer. The Bible tells us not to complain about anything, but in everything we do it as unto the Lord. It's kind of, kind of funny the way I was raised. I mean, uh, in, in the, I've raised the assembly of God. And so, and, and gosh, back in the seventies, I would watch people go to the altar and then almost beat that. Oh, God, use me. Oh, God, use me. I just want to be used. And then, of course, they go back to the same altar a couple of weeks later and they go, Oh, God, I just feel used. Those folks down there are using me. Why are you the very one who prayed to be used? You know, I I know that's funny, but the point is you have got to yield to the Holy Spirit and you got to bring your flesh under. You don't get the right to be ugly. There is no right. Show me a scripture. It's not in there. You don't get the right to be high maintenance. No, it's not in there. You get the right to be low maintenance. And you have to yield to the Holy Spirit in your life. Father, I thank you so much for today. I pray the blessing of heaven over everyone watching this. And I trust you have an incredible day.